Over the past year, there has been plenty of chatter about militias. They've been at both left and right wing rallies and protests. But what do we really know about what they are and what they stand for? Fox 43's Harry Lee spent a weekend embedded with a new Pennsylvania militia group to learn about their inner workings and beliefs. She explains the history of the modern militia movement and why it's intertwined with gun rights. Both gun rights, comes everything from here to here, and militia groups hinge on the Second Amendment. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It's not surprising then that groups tie their existence to that sentence. It doesn't say a well-regulated army. Militia are those private citizens who at any given moment leave their occupations, leave their, their families, leave the comforts of their home to protect those that they love. Constitutional scholars say the true meaning of the term militia is not so clear cut. The idea of a well-regulated militia means a well-trained militia, so it's not the same thing as saying that we can impose regulations on the militia. But it does indicate that just people owning weapons and operating vigilante style is not uh, within the intent of the Second Amendment. To understand the true intent, we have to go back about 250 years. Colonial militias were akin to an early form of the draft. All able-bodied white men were required to serve. As the United States developed a professional army and police force, the need for militias went away. Fast forward to the 1990s, when a new militia movement was born. The historical or statutory militia is a completely different thing from militia groups in the militia movement. The new militias serve a different purpose, with a strong focus on protecting society from a tyrannical government. Thomas Jefferson said, the tree of liberty from time to time must be replenished by the blood of patriots and tyrants. To do that, they need guns. The militia movement is completely wrapped around the issue of firearms. The International Small Arms Survey says the U.S. has the most civilian held guns per resident in the world. Pennsylvania volunteer militia members believe our government wants to change that. Our vice president said that during the campaign. They openly said that they are coming for our guns. Uh, that's a challenge. A challenge this militia is ready to take on. You come for me and you threaten me, it's hard to tell what this boy's going to do. Tomorrow, we'll take a look at the military nature of militias and why they say they can help law enforcement. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.